Hello, this is Carl James Lankford again. Uh, we're back at the locality where Rubicon Heritage uh, complicit with the destruction of the archaeological resource at this landscape. This was all um, stripped last year. And as you can see, the ground level is pretty much many, many meters higher than where the archaeology was. So it starts to make you wonder why they needed to strip this landscape in the first place and destroy the archaeology. The uh, road surface as we pan over is many, many meters higher than where the archaeology um, once was before it was all scraped up and destroyed. So all the rubble and everything that we're looking at now um, is, is definitely um, where all the archaeology once was. And as I'm heading across this landscape, you can see that there was no practical need for the destruction of the archaeology in the first place. As we scan over, they're still working and it's getting very muddy underfoot as we walk across um, absolute utter um, no reason at all why they scraped away our heritage there was over 500 sets of human remains on this site at one stage um, and they've all been taken away and put into boxes there'll be lots of people critical of this video um, it's for progress what for progress that the um, the road itself is from where I'm standing about five or six meters higher than where the archaeology was they could have just identified it via geophysics um, and then just put the road surface on top these people could have had their final rest in place forever the, the mud it's very muddy here um, and I think the point has been made of this video I actually um, we actually got onto the road earlier on we're actually driving on this new road surface um, it's it's not wider than the existing road um, so if we look on an ecological thing that uh, we've we've ripped out all the hedges um, and very much um, what has been the aim of what's going on here. We're, we're panning around, okay? We're panning around in this, this huge area, this absolutely massive area. I, I can't make head nor tail any sense of why they've had to strip such a huge landscape. Taxpayers have paid for this stripping of the land. What is the point? What is the value on stripping the, this land? And I state again, they, they've stripped this entire landscape because they simply wished to um, make this land available for housing, uh, which is which is extremely clear. Um, we're, we're, we're keeping panning around and looking at this huge area. And uh, as we as we zoom in there. As we zoom in there, that huge embankment, we pan across around here. This is where there was that um, that uh, mound, um, the area where there was a bank and ditched area that I showed in my first video from uh, May last year. Um, and in this area, there there were all the bodies. And as you can see, the road itself is meters above where the cemetery was. The, the bones have been removed to an unknown locality. Um, the council statement back in May is all that there is. Anything found after May, we don't have a clue. Um, it's quite shocking of the level of absolute destruction around here for no reason at all. The only reason why they've cleared all these acres of land must be um, for another development housing development. So when the council turn around and say actually um, we're going to build on this land 
You don't need any archaeologists on this land to do an evaluation because the archaeology has already been destroyed. Wouldn't it be very convenient to have a housing estate so close to this brand new road? You get straight onto the A48 and not far away, straight onto the motorway. Very, very convenient. This is Carl James Langford reporting at the five mile lane, the A4226 over and Again, as you look in front, this was the position of where the cemetery was. Panning over, look how high that road surface is. And it makes you wonder, again, why they need to clear this whole area. So ask that question, you've got the road surface on the right. As we close this video, we look over this entire area, this huge area that's been cleared all the way over to the road. The question is why? 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 I know whether archaeologists will be watching this, they'll be critical and saying the area needed to be stripped and the, we needed to evaluate the archaeology. Now, the old adage in archaeology is that you don't excavate if you don't need to. And they only needed to excavate here because there was a reason. And money was used for the excavations for a reason. It's not for the construction of a road because the road's already been built. So why is this area being cleared? Can anyone give me a good reason? Other than for a housing development? Vailica Morgan need to answer those questions. This is Carl James Langford at the five mile lane, the A4. Last sound bite. We're on a bank which is about a metre and a half high. And over there is the road surface. Now we're going to go down to an area which is the area of where the archaeology was being excavated. So this here is the topsoil layer, okay, and then what we do have is we've got the area where this is one remaining bit of the archaeological um, landscape here. This, this is the layer the archaeologists excavated to, um, the amateur archaeologists of Rubicon heritage. And that there is a bank that's been placed on top of this layer that's been haphazardly excavated by Rubicorn. Um, hopefully somebody's going to make a complaint against me to the uh, Chartist Institute of Field Archaeology. After all, I do have a master's degree in archaeology. Um, and the bodies from here have been removed. This area, this is the end of the, the cemetery, has been removed from this area. Uh, why couldn't they have just been left here? And then they would have had a wonderful rest under, as you can see over there, the um, three metre bank as it is over there. Let me zoom in on that. And we've got some spoil in front of us to tell us, give us an idea of the built up area. Um, and there's no sense to what's happened. Um, I can't answer this one. I've been involved in archaeology for so many years and had, haven't found this level of, yeah, a bit of a land drain. Um, I haven't found this level of uh, incompetence um, in archeology. span And that there is a piece of um, a Roman bowl. As you can see, it's there in front of us. There it is. Um, it's burnished. Um, black burnished ware type and this is actually in the spoil heap here I've just found it um, so so we, we think about um, what could be in this this mound in front I've just found again a piece of pottery um, it's completely unstratified and 
I think it says it all. Just going to have a little bit more look in this bank. Um, I wouldn't love to find human bones at this point, but it would just be, uh, it would, um, it wouldn't be good. So, I'm going to end the video today. It's last time I'll be coming out here now. Um, I'll come out here definitely when the houses are being built. Um, just to harry the situation again as we look over Carl James Langford at the five mile lane.